So a while back I installed this thing, gear indicator from uh, Heeltech Electronics. It's a GI Pro with ATRE Advanced Timing Retarder Eliminator, I think. I have it installed on a 2006 ZX-10. And overall, I love it. It's, it's great. Like, see, works great. Look at that. See the gears changing and everything just like you should. For the most part, anyway. I'm sure the biggest question everybody has is, does the TRE work? Does it have any effect? Well, there's two factors to that of why I can't really tell. I'm not a good judge of that. One, I bought the bike in the fall, and I only put about 1,500 kilometers on it or so. So I didn't really have a lot of time to get a good feel for the bike to begin with. Then I installed it in the spring immediately after I took the bike out of storage. Now, uh, TRE is supposed to improve, you know, throttle response, just low-end power, lower RPM, lower gears, that kind of thing. When I got it out in the spring, I, I think it felt better. I think it worked better. Who knows? So I, it could have been, you know, on your head, kind of like a placebo effect or something. But, you know, I, I love the gear indicator. I like having that there, especially where this is a new-to-me bike. It's, you know, every once in a while you kind of get lost in your gear count. Before, with the ZX-12, I could just uh, glance at the tachometer and kind of know what gear I was in, but it takes a little time to get, you know, used to a bike like that again, so it was nice to have the gear indicator. Until, one day while riding along, I look at it and it's flashing an F at me. So I think, okay, well maybe it's a fault, right? F for fault. Maybe the gear position switch on the bike is giving it trouble or something. I don't know if the bike is, you know, 10, 11 years old at this point. So uh, I can't find anything in the manual about it. So I email Heeltech and they immediately respond to me. They're like, yep, heard of it before. We've seen it in a couple of bikes. It's a simple fix. You just got to update the firmware in it. So I stopped reading at that point because I was busy and then great you know just a firmware update later on i thought how the hell are you supposed to update the firmware in something that's attached to the bike and has no way to connect to it there's no usb port or anything like that on this thing so i go back to the email and i read some more and it says uh, the process for updating the firmware is simple step one mail the unit to hungary what I gotta remove this damn thing and then pay to ship it to Hungary to get a firmware update? So I thought that was just ridiculous. After a couple of back and forth emails with the company, I said, look, if, I gotta sh if I'm paying to ship this thing anywhere, it's gonna be going back to the dealership where I bought it for a refund and that's it. So after a week or two, they wrote back and they said that the updated models with the new firmware are soon gonna be available in my region, which was Canada. So I could probably get in touch with the people I bought it from and ship it back to them and then they could send me an updated one. But you know, that still required removing the damn thing out of the bike and you know, I went to a lot of trouble. I made a little bracket, you know, ran the wires nice so they wouldn't interfere with anything. So I didn't want to mess with that if I didn't have to. So I just kind of let it go and I've been riding it now for probably more than a month, maybe two months. And I, I think it's happened once, briefly, just for a second, since then. But for the most part, it works great. Hasn't shown me an F in a long time. Very quick response. So whether or not the TRE works or not, it's... You know, well, obviously it works. It probably does something. How big of an effect does it have? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I mean, these bikes work great to begin with.